go for that. And upgrade it as we go. Ugh. What's going on? So, we're off to find his uh, lovebirds, eh? I will get you every last copper, with interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Do I really want to pay? Yeah, just fuck it. Take this coin and leave. The hino works. Vespula's to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold, gold. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Gerald. Dandelion, why well, I'm here. Took Dandelion out whoring? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh, dreadful sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. Oh. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Yeah, that is definitely Dandelion. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Who was he with in Harborside? This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean... Tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if you dropped by.
It's like they have depth. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Howe. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Howe? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Ellie Howe was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, <gasps> so it's that. Wait here. <laughs> Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. <laughs> Get that out of my chat, you fuck. God. <laughs> I need bleach. Oh. Dandelion, who the fuck? <laughs> Where did you last see Dandelion? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. <laughs> Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? I would like to see him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they say? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> this, this is what I've come to. <laughs> oh, let's get this over with, please. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Doxide thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a Witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help. Be gone. <laughs> Thanks for your help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. I'll be sure to check by. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, did I forget? No. Tantaline, you poor twat.
much more. Okay, let's see the other questionably male people Dandelion's been with. London by any chance. Oh no, he's gotten you too. Excuse no. me. No. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. Turns out he'll not come up. Why not? A rat bit him, and he's got a fever. Where'd you get bit? Did you get much? Will he die? Don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day I saw a witch there. To tell a man he lived in rats, and then he killed him. Liar. That's enough. We're done with the day. Gather your things and go home. I am she. The person you are seeking, I am. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... <laughs> no. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. <laughs> if someday I, you know, have to break up with a girl, I'm just gonna open a book of fungi. <laughs> I'm gonna make it really, really fucking clear that's... That is fucking over. Pointed penicillium. Heart's broken. Tip for all you folks over there. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. Good luck with that. To see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Uh, bye. Thanks for your help. Farewell. It's always a niff, boy. <laughs> Don't question my devotion. <laughs> you missed the gun. On a window? Otherwise, Gerald would have a reflection if it was a mirror. It's a glass door. Wow. I am perplexed. Or down. Of course down, but you know. Yeah, she's definitely not in the sewers. I I guess as much. Unless he's fucking some sea monster or something. Which is very likely. <laughs> you fucker. Just don't rely on the uh, inside jokes. 
Too much, you know. Everything in moderation. This Baronet's love for Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding now. Be gone. He was fucking the Baroness. And I was like, impressive motherfucker, but no. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters. And my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep. My, my. I thought witches had... When did I kill her son? I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I oh, I killed... Out of date. Yeah. Molly no longer works here. Yeah, I did sort of kill... Uh... The Prince of the Lavalettes. Sort of. I actually humiliated him in front of the army by killing him single-handedly. Um, so yeah. Pretty, pretty good. I just sort of remember things from previous games. You got the fight. Baroness fired her. Quite the contrary. Molly decided she no longer wished to serve. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. Like he's he's a, a single French word from becoming, you know, just just the epitome of all evil for me. Ah, uh, what was that quote I got yesterday? Ah. Uh, I can actually play it, it's not that much. Just play the sound of it, because fuck it. Chateau Aubryon, 1959. Magnificent wine. I love French wine. Becky loves the French language. I have sampled every language. French is my favorite. Fantastic language. Especially to curse with. Nom de Dieu, de putain de bordel de merde de saloperie de connard d'enculé de ta mère, you see. It's like wiping your ass with silk. I love it. <laughs> From the Matrix. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> God. Oh. Rex into that. Ah. <sighs> Nom de Dieu de putain de bretelle de merde, de super de connor de cure de merde. Just. You need to remember that. It's. It's fucking. The most cuntish thing. And my French is fucking atrocious, so. Don't quote me on that. You marry for the gold? Gotta wonder if Molly fell for the nephew or his inheritance. We cannot know that just yet. But either way, just she has strong feelings for both. Where can I find Molly? Alright, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? 
Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. That's not me horse. Thank you. We've arrived. Nice place. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. The Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vorl. Yeah. Grey is a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. What? A German, though. Yeah, you'd fuck a horse. That's why you're fucking interested in. Know much about the others? Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood retaining, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Oh, you'd know that from personal experience, right? I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't oh, yeah. make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Yeah, I I'd fuck a horse for a saddle. Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Ha! <laughs> Splendid! In that case, you must choose a mount. Oh. There's a Canyon Bay. Think I'll give you a run on the Zeracanian Bay. Cantarella for me, then. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. Let's see what you're made of. Move it. Don't spare the horse. The roach I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional. I've not lost the race in a while. I congratulate you. 
That is yours. Ah, look! Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I should be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. Everything is vaguely sexual with you, isn't it? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, where is racing saddle? What? What's this? Ooh. Shit. I don't think I've ever seen this many. Ah, uh, LT. Getting that 10 stamina. Hello, Molly. Who do you favor, my lady? Can't decide between the black stallion and the grey mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? That was... yeah. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... Oh, those kind of balls. <laughs> okay. could help you. Such a nice girl. Dandelion thinks you're a maid servant. I'm under the impression Dandelion thinks you still serve the Lavalettes. Oh, that's because I never told him I stopped. Didn't want him to treat me any different. And your husband has nothing against it? Your old friendship? Of course not. Sweetiekins couldn't be happier that Dandelion's raising me sophistication. Yeah, raising your sophistication, you're probably raising something else there. Where Dandelion doesn't have a sister. You do realise Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him myself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her, looks after her, the way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Oh, yes. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks!